For number 18, I'm going to solve this like an equation and then take the square root at the end to get rid of the, the exponent. So first, I would subtract 21 from both sides. x squared equals 100. Then I would square root, and I get that x equals plus or minus 10. That right there is important that you put plus or minus on your answer because you're talking about an equation. Okay, in number 19, you need to set up your equation. So to find the area of a square, you would do side times side. Your side is x minus 2. And so since it would be 2 times that you would write it, you just put an exponent, 2. And that equals your area, but your area of the square is 81. So now to solve this, I would square root both sides to get rid of my 2. And I have x minus 2 equals plus or minus 9. Then I would add 2 to both sides. And we get 2 plus or minus 9. And we need to branch that off. So we have 2 plus 9 and 2 minus 9. So we have 11 and negative 7. And in this problem, we talked about distance, <coughs> and it can't be negative. So unfortunately, we have to just cross out this negative 7, and we're going to use the positive solution. So x is 11 in this case. In number 20 and 21, it says to solve, and this is us find the x-intercepts. I want you to think of 20 and 21 as being x-factor problems. How would you x-factor? How would you solve? And so I would go 1 times 7 is 7, and you're trying to get to 8. So 1 plus 7 makes 8. Then I would write it in factored form. Once you have it equal to 0, you just set each expression equal to 0. So this would be subtract 1, x would be negative 1. Here if I subtract 7, we would have negative 7. Okay, in number 21, it's also a factor problem. So this is a factor, okay, this is factor. So I'm going to go get rid of my y equals, but equals 0. 1 times negative 12 is negative 12. I have to get to negative 7. So let's see, factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So it looks like to me there's a typo here. This should be a positive 12. And we would have a negative 3 and a negative 4 to get negative 7. But if I multiply, I get positive 12. So let's fix that typo and make that a positive 12. So now I would have x minus 3, x minus 4 equals 0. Set each one equal to 0 and solve. So here I would add 3 and then add 4. So 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 plus 4 is 4. Okay, and number 22, for this one, you would need to um, distribute. So I'm going to take the x times the x plus 5. I always want the x on the left side. 
So I did x times the quantity, x plus 5, equals 2 times 7, which is 14. So if I distribute this, we get x squared plus 5x. We subtract the 14, but know that you're putting it right here. So I have x squared plus 5x minus 14 equals 0. So 1 times negative 14 is negative 14. As you can see, we're going to factor. we got to get to 5. So let's look at our factors. We'll put, so 14, we have 1 times 14, 2 times 7. So that means that 2 and 7 could subtract to make a 5 if I subtract the 2. So I would have x minus 2, x plus 7 equals 0. So x minus 2 equals 0 means I'm adding 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. Here I have x plus 7 equals 0. If I subtract 7, 0 minus 7 is negative 7. And that is my solution uh, to number 22.